largest World Series crowd ever fills the huge Los Angeles Coliseum for the first World Series game ever played on the West Coast. Over 92,000 cash customers assuring record first baseball history is a making. On the field, the White Sox have the bases full. First inning. But Don Drysdale pitches himself out of trouble. In You Bet Your Life. And now, here he is, the one, the only... Rocco! we have some uh, special guests to talk to you now. Oh, that's nice. They're uh, Ginger... That's nice. ...and jo uh, <laughs> Ginger and Don Drysdale. And Does if they're... Ginger snap? Well, you'll find out. Uh, and in case there may be some isolated listener who has never heard of uh, Don Drysdale, 
He just happens to be one of the greatest pitchers in the world today, and he uh, happens to be playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Well, so how folks, jiggity. Yes, would you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx? Welcome to You Bet Your Life. Say the secret word and, uh, and, uh, and divide an extra $100. Now, so you're a leading uh, pitcher for the L.A. Dodgers, huh? I thought it was a girls' baseball team, the way they finished last season. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, Ginger? Are you a California girl? No, I was born in Covington, Georgia. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You're a wonderful advertisement for uh, California. You're a local boy, aren't you, Don? That's right, Groucho. I was born and raised in Van Nuys. Where, where is that? That's across the hills over there in the San Fernando Valley. Oh, I thought it was across the river from Cincinnati. How did you meet uh, Don, Ginger, and where? I've been an Adrian model for uh, several years You've been now. a what? An Adrian model. And so uh, I was out at the Coliseum doing a story for the Mirror News. Was you called... were a reporter? Girl no, reporter? No, I was modeling. You were modeling at the Coliseum? Yes, I was Was modeling. this while the game was on? <laughs> no, this is before. This is practice. Oh. You were modeling with the ball players? Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you and like so that? anyway, as I started to say... Um, you hadn't said anything yet. <laughs> I went down to the Coliseum. You went to the and, Coliseum. And uh, Don was pitching there on the sidelines. He was on the side. Uh, yes. Don't they allow him in the regular ballpark? No, he was warming up on the sidelines. Oh. So there he was. And, and I'm not going to say a word. That's the deal. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I nodded to him, and he nodded back, and... Uh, Later on, we did some more pictures, and I investigated number 53 with Walt Austin, you know, the marital status and age of, you know. How many teeth? One. So anyway, he asked me for my phone number, and we went out, and 17 days later, I talked him into getting engaged. Does uh, Ginger travel with you when you're on the road, Don? No, she doesn't, Groucho. She stays at home. Are you sick of her already? <laughs> no, it's just, uh, just a rule that the club has that the wives don't travel with us, and... I think it's a pretty good one. Imagine leaving Ginger at home all alone for a month, and on top of that, losing all those ball games. <laughs> How long have you been with the Dodgers, Don? I've been in the Dodger organization for five years, and really? I've been with the Dodgers for three. And how old are you? 22. Hmm. You were uh, 20, 19 when you signed uh, for big league baseball? Yes, uh, 19 my first year in the major leagues. Well, how could you be a ball player at that age? You weren't even old enough to shave on television. Well, I, uh, actually... <laughs> isn't that a requirement for all ball players? No, no, it isn't, but actually... Well, I watch I the World be... Series. Seems to me all they do is shave. <laughs> well, they That's do the hairiest lot. crowd I ever saw. <laughs> no, actually, I was 17 when I first signed. I signed right out of high school. You just had fuzz, eh? That's right. Uh -huh. You only have about 18 or 20 years left in baseball. What are your plans for the future when you're a retired old man? Well, Groucho, I'd like to get in uh, some sort of phase of uh, radio or television work. Having you to mean do a quiz sports... show? No, I'd like, like a sports program or something like that. If Shaving? Possible. Well, that might be a commercial. <laughs> now, how long have you been married? Two and a half months. Precisely? Almost. Is, uh, now, tell me about uh, Ginger. Is she a good cook? No. <laughs> well, that's Drysdale for you. Another wild pitch. <laughs> Are you going to let him get away with this, Ginger? Or do you want me to throw him out of the game? Well, I guess I should admit it. I've only been cooking for two and a half months. I mean, what can you expect? You've been cooking for ten weeks? You must be pretty well done by now. Right? <laughs> do you ever criticize uh, Don's pitching? No, I try to leave baseball at the ballpark. Do uh -huh. you go out there? Oh, yes, all the time. All the time. Huh? Mm -hmm. How about when you're on the road and Ginger is back in L.A.? You can tell me, Don, just between us men, what goes on when you aren't wearing that leash? Well, actually, Groucho, I, uh, I'm pretty tired on the road, and I just usually try and get all the rest I can, mm -hmm. watch television, see a few movies. Don, I want to ask you something. Who's the toughest batter to pitch to in the National League? Well, let's see. There's... Uh, Hank Aaron and Eddie Matthews and Stan Musial, and Billy Bruton, Joe Adcock, Willie Mays, Ernie Banks, Dale Long, Walt Morin, Willie Jones, Lee Walls. In other words, you can't pitch to anybody. 
Yeah. That's quite a team you named there, by the way. <laughs> you got plenty on the ball, and so has Ginger. And good luck to you and the Dodgers next season. Oh, Let's hope you, you finish at least in the first division. Thank you very much, Gus. And that you get your 20 games next year. Now, let's see if you can run your winning streak into $10,000. Now, you selected observation quiz. I'll ask you some questions. If you miss two in a row, you're out. If you get four in a row right, you win $1,000. Now, how many white stripes are there on the American flag? If you don't know, guess. I'll, I'll say 10. There are six. Oh, you have one wrong now. Now, how many columns in a standard size newspaper? How many would you say? Eight. Eight is right. <laughs> you now have one right. Give him a kiss. <laughs> I give him a kiss. <laughs> I never met him before. No, how do you do? <laughs> they say to kiss him is to know him. All right, uh, whose picture is on the $5 bill? Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. You know I had an uncle. He couldn't pronounce Lincoln. He always called it Lincoln. You now have two right. He was hung two years ago. Huh? <laughs> you got two right. Now, how many notes are there in an octave? Six. Eight. 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 Now, what answer? Which do you want? I'll say eight. Typical ball player counts on his fingers. <laughs> eight is right. And you have three right, get the next one right, and you'll have a thousand dollars. I'll let you go from here. On a standard telephone dial, what is the only letter not used? What is the only letter not, not used? Not used, yes. If you don't know, guess. There's only 24 letters in the alphabet. Guess. Q. Q is right. And you have four in a row, you win one thousand dollars. Lift her up. I want to show you something. Well, you've won a thousand dollars. Now you can keep it and quit, or else you can come back later and try to double your money. You may even get a crack at five or even ten thousand dollars. So you go over there and sit on his lap and think about it. And thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Uh,